the two back looks Charbonnet to the right of Milton and the true freshman Corum motions out. They get the ball to the electric young guy from Baltimore. And his first play of his college career is an explosive play into Gophers territory. Welcome to the Maze and Blue. But this young freshman Corum can do amazing things. I mean, they used a comparison to J.K. Dobbins as far as his physicality, speed, and agility. And you can see right away. Chris Evans, great comeback story for the Wolverines. Motions out. Milton looking over the middle, and it's a slant. Complete. Giles Jackson for about a five-yard game. Who they have a premier wideout? It was a, just a nice committee of them. Milton on third down, delivers a strike across the middle, and that's Roman Wilson. This is where you want to attack, right? You, you've got the backers that are walked up. And you've got, you've got a receiver coming from the outside in, but the middle of the field wide open. And they did a good job with their underneath receivers. <laughs> yeah. Milton still got the ball, throws it in the flat. Mason diving toward the pylon. He's in. Ben Mason. So if that happens and the ball is across the goal plane of the goal line. That's a touchdown, right? He gets a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, that, by the time that hand touched, looked like the ball had, had broken the plane. What an athletic play. Like I said, he's known for lifting weights and blocking people, but there he shows you a tremendous. And Chris Evans back in the game. Milton fakes it to him and just flips it short. They give him a chance to redeem himself, all off and running, and spins down inside the five. So he shakes off the short touchdown against the action, kind of get hidden, hide him, kind of a boot. Start of the fourth quarter. Chris Evans is in motion. Milton fires over the middle. Man, the catch is made. That's Roman Wilson with a first and goal. The major development on that Wolverine sideline and will shake up the maze of Blue Nation. We'll get to Maria momentarily for that. The completion to Bell on the edge who breaks free. Ronnie Bell still running, lowers his shoulder, and is out near the 50. Maria? Yeah, Chris, we've got some breaking news to report. Uh, Jim Harbaugh. We were, all, we were all so much disbelief. We waited till the fourth quarter to report it. On the slant, Bell breaks free. Can he get there? No! And it stumbles and falls forward like Daniel Jones. Yeah. A little short of the end zone. <laughs> Number, right? Oh, yeah, Daniel Jones. But I'm telling you, his boys, in the, in the, when they watch film, the receivers, <laughs> they're going to annihilate him. But how, it was... Every other than that, back H back, kind of a tight end type of guy, but one of the best blockers in all college football. 16 yard gain and built to the near side, and it's caught by Mike Sainer still. Milt is hit as he throws, but he got it away, and it's Giles Jackson. Found a soft spot, makes the catch. It's different defense, but right there, beautiful job. Blake Corn checks in. Meanwhile, they run it. And this ball outside, nicely done. A.J. Henning. First down and 10 of the 19 for the Wolverines. Blake Corum. Play fake. Milton comes it underneath and a catch. Nice throw. There is a lot of velocity on that ball when Joe Milton throws. They got to adjust to that. Here's Milton again. Over the middle. And caught. Should be a first down. For Michigan, Giles Jackson. This is the type of talent he's got. Check this out. Accurate, right on the face mask of Jackson. And it's a big first down for Michigan to try to get him started on this series. Got to sure up that accuracy. Here's Milton again to throw it. And this time he puts it on the money to Roman Wilson, the freshman. Down at four at the 42. Milton goes through his progressions. Buys time. Nice throw. Roman Wilson again. Got three wide receivers that kind of all go over the ball and they stop and look. It's like, what, what do you want me to do with that? That is not spacing. Okay, in the in the game of football, when you're trying to throw it, you've got to have great spacing. Roddy Bell in motion. Joe Milton delivers. And caught for first down by Giles Jackson. That was a tough catch, too. Before Brown was out there in coverage. But he's able to fit it in before Brown gets there, and that's just a tough position to be in for a wide receiver, and Giles Jackson pays for it. You see number eight, Ronnie Bell. He's the one that's, I guess it's called a flat control. He's a Big Ten Player of the Week against Penn State. Played even better against Rutgers. Going over the top against that secondary on the next play. Cornelius Johnson, bang! 
and just like that. What a sweet, sweet call from Coach Gaddis to go at that safety that is just squatting and sitting the post route right behind him. And as you said, a tremendous job of using your hands. You don't wait for the football. Jalen Williams is an excellent corner. You got to go up and get it. And that's exactly what Cornelius does on, frankly, Joe Milton's best deep ball of the season. Six seconds, one timeout. Let Joe Milton throw it, see what he can do here in the closing second. So check it down to Chris Evans. Evans able to run around Taylor, who took a poor angle. And a big pickup around midfield. So with a penalty of first and 20, and a throw from Milton. Huge window over the middle of the field for Ronnie Bell. And he fights his way for a first down. One way to counteract it, right? If those linebackers are going to trigger downhill, then throw right behind them into a huge void of that zone. And maybe it's Ronnie Bell. Maybe it's the veteran of that receiving crew, the junior, that can step up and say, put the ball on me and give me an opportunity. He's in with more than eight catches in his career. Pressure off of the edge here. It's picked up. Milton steps up. Resets the feet. Down the field, it's Bell. Ronnie Bell keeps his balance to take it inside the 20. Let's go! Answering your question. The veteran is the man so far in the second half. He thought Milton may run for this as he steps up beautifully, but instead he keeps his eyes downfield, and there is just a seed. I mean, this kid, it's not about his arm strength. It's about some of the finesse and feel. I love him stepping up, but even more so, the scream there of frustration from Bell after the huge play for the Wolverines. 52 yards, longest of the day for Michigan. Third down, they bring pressure. Milton lets it fly. Diving catch. Touchdown, Michigan. It's Roman Wilson with his first career score. Rolls to pull it in for a touchdown on third down. It starts with the guys up front, picking it up, just giving Milton that space. And what a beautiful route. Wilson at the top of the route, sticks it. He runs away. Seven for the Wolverines, down 17. Pressure coming from Indiana. It's picked up, so Milton has time and a first down. Nick Eubanks across the 40. Big time third down pickup to bring this third quarter to a close on this U of M offense. Eubanks the tight end. And as we go to the fourth, Wolverines on the move. Mind ourselves a third career start for a guy who has high expectations but learning on the job. Floats one for the end zone. Ronnie Bell, touchdown. All the space, all the green grass for Ronnie Bell. And it gives the quarterback so much room to just make any throw away from that DB. And that's one of the country's best in Mullen. But you see Bell attack the ball. Here I am. Another 25-yard line. Milton will dump it off to Blake Corn. And Corn, the dangerous freshman, crosses the 40. A gain of 21 in the first play of the drive, still 8.32 to go. It's a three-score game, but still a lot of time left. I think the entire program, and that can be a game changer. Third and 14. Milton for Bell, and a first down, and a perfect strike. Confidence watch, this ball comes out, and there's no hesitation when he's thrown a number eight. Right, a lot of the other freshmen and the young guys. Again, third and very long, 11 yards, Milton. Downfield throw, maybe that's the play that sparks him. Giles Jackson dances around, tackled at the 40 by Herbig. Finally, a positive play. Slot fade. He has a lot of room to work to the outside. He's going up against Madison Cohn in a well-thrown ball. I mean, that's what you see the potential of Milton with the big arm. That time, you know, I love it because it was a touch. He typically throws these deep balls. From Honolulu, he doesn't mind cold weather to go from Honolulu to Madison. Milton on third and five from the pocket delivers a fastball. This is a strike caught by Eubanks, and the Wolverines are now threatening down near the red zone. First at the 22. Third and goal, Michigan off the timeout. Desperate to cut into this big lead. Chris Evans is the back. Milton from the pocket gets it to Evans, but he attracts attention and just works free and scores. Chris Evans, who's a great story, scores a touchdown. Finally, Michigan cutting into this lead. 
Evans is the bat. Out of the backfield, they get it to him. He's got some space, and they pick up 11 to start the drive before Chanel forced him out. They're executing very well on both sides of the ball. Pressure right off the edge on first down, but the ball comes out, and the catch is made by Ronnie Bell, who bounces off a man. There's good desire by the veteran Michigan receiver. First down near midfield. He is a leader, and we keep talking about who's got some fire, who wants to fight, who wants to compete. Ronnie Bell does. Eight's going to give you everything that he has. Love to see yards out. After the catch. The change now. Caden McNamara relieving Milton. Quarterback comes out slinging and finds Bell right away. And they're out near midfield. So a little juice as they bring in the backup. Again, I, I continue to say, I just, I'm in shock. McNamara slings it downfield. And the catch is made. In coverage. Good effort there to get his feet down. But nine that time had his eyes on the quarterback. And, uh, just did not see Eubanks get behind him. Lost him in coverage. A couple of big plays, and Michigan still trying to find the end zone for the first time tonight. And they'll take a shot at the end zone. Jump ball. How about that? Sandra still touchdown off the bench. McNamara is electric. Where he gives his, his receivers a chance to make a play. Puts it up. It's an incredible effort. Sabre still does a nice job of focusing in and, and going airborne to, to make that catch. Pretty good coverage. Really tight coverage there by Melvin. Five of six games lost now, dating back to last season. As Milton, who went three for three on the opening drive, now four for four. And he goes right back to Cornelius Johnson, who had the fumble. Just a corner route that time to Cornelius Johnson. Slips it right in there in front of Brendan White. The throw, Milton. Deep ball looking for Jackson, and there's one of those throws with touch, with accuracy, and on the money to Jackson to the Rutgers 45. Milton has time. This is the throws I'm talking about. Every once in a while, you'll see one on film and be like, wow. This is a touch throw, puts it right where he needs to. Jackson was in the slot, just has a step. He has to drop that. Jeff Servinsky and the crew get it right, but it was a first down to the 46. And McNamara heaves it in wide open and walking into the end zone, Cornelius Johnson, there is your spark. Kind of coverage bust. Brendan White is on Johnson, and it's just a double move. You're aggressive on defense. You send pressure. You leave your safety on an island. McNamara with a throw to the sideline. It's caught. A second left. Rising up for the catch is Mike Sainer still, and out of bounds. Hoping to be disruptive on third and 12. And here they come, and it's picked up, and it's McNamara throwing, and it's Eric All with the catch and a first down. That Josh Gaddis mentioned wow factor with, Eric All was one of him. Said that the plays that he makes in practice just... He had 25 yards on that one, two plays ago when they had only 17 yards the whole first half on the ground. McNamara to throw, the little pop pass is caught. Touchdown, Nick Eubanks. In terrible position. You see right there, it gets his hips around. Nice little touch pass. Now, fourth down, slant pass. Chris Evans caught it, turns up field first down, and bumped it to 20 and to the 16. You mentioned it's way outside, and Chris Evans working one on one with Tyreek Maddox Williams. Able to beat him on the slant. There was a point tonight when Rutgers was in front, 17 to nothing. Play clock winding down, snap off in time, another slant. Mike Sainra still, touchdown, there's the first Michigan lead early in the fourth quarter. Watch Ronnie Bell, he's gonna look up the defender, and Sainstra will come underneath his man. Watch this, boom, pick, touchdown. That's why Ronnie Bell was pumped up. Patience on that play, and it's patience that typifies what's transpired on this drive. Cornelius Johnson looking for a block for Ronnie Bell. Got enough of a block and then tight ropes the sideline and is in for the touchdown for Michigan. Christian Izian has a chance to make the play. Cornelius Johnson does a nice job keeping his feet. Which they've done ever since Kate McNamara came into the game. And that is a good throw on the move. A bullet throw to Giles Jackson. And coach thinks this kid is tough as nails. We might have a Harbaugh quarterback match here. And he'll throw here on the first play for Michigan. And has a completion to Ronnie Bell along the sideline. 
McNamara with a quick throw to Bell out in the flat. Nobody ever really worked out, and that surprised me for the quarterback guy that he is. So here's the Michigan fans hoping that Kate McNamara is going to be that guy. Here's true freshman Roman and Wilson able to turn it up field, knocked out of bounds, short of the line to get. Pass play here. McNamara on second and 11. Another strike. Goes back in the game at quarterback. Midway point of the second quarter. And Milt with a long throw, and it's complete for a first down to Bell. And Bell all the way out to the 33-yard line, a gain of about 20 on that one. It's back in the game. He made his first start of the season today. First down on the Wolverine, 25, and he goes to the air here to Henning. True freshman is across the 30-yard line for his fourth catch of the season and a pickup of six. They were trailing that game late in the second quarter. They're putting it together. On second down and 10, McNamara. Here's the shot down the field. Jump ball. Wow. And the catch is made inside the 40 by true freshman A.J. Henning. Winner-rate player of the year in Illinois. Goes up over the top. Incredible job coming down with that ball. Daquan Hardy was there in coverage. Henning's had a, had a beat on it the whole time.